Hi, I'm Jason Matthews, owner of Matthews Painting Company near Warsaw, Indiana. We continue our tutorial videos that we show each new employee who we train to become professional painters. Today we're going to be discussing our policy concerning what we do with our rags when we're done using them for the day. Now we do this with all rags. We do this with rags that we're even using with water or with caulking. That way we're not walking by a trash can seeing rags in a trash can wondering was solvent used on that rag or was water because many times we get three or four even five people working on a job site. So this is where we dispose of all rags. This is a fire bucket. There are many solvents as well as stains that can actually catch fire. Also, stain in particular. So when we're talking about Sickens SRD stain or Arbor Coat oil-based translucent stain, which we work with a lot in this company, those products contain linseed oil. And if you research linseed oil and spontaneous combustion on YouTube, like you're seeing this video on YouTube, you will see actually folks putting rags in piles and after two, three, four hours, sometimes longer, they self-combust and start a fire. Many believe that heat is needed. Even though you'll see a lot of fires happen in a closed container or in a dumpster, we've seen fires start even in 40 degree evenings in the dark. It has nothing to do with how hot the day is. It has to do with just the right amount of linseed oil or a combustible product, the amount of rags that might be in an area and how bunched up they are, and how much oxygen is getting to them. And so at the end of the day, or even throughout the day, we'll put all our rags even inside a fire bucket and there was blisters on the lid so we thought well that wouldn't be good if it was sitting inside a customer's home or buy some drapes so now we actually always will have water in our fire buckets the fire buckets then are put outside our customers homes 20 foot away from any building we do that just in case something like that is whether it's an interior or exterior job, this goes 20 foot away from the house or building that we're actually working at. We then will put our rags in this fire bucket. You notice there's a little lid here that lifts it as well. And we will go ahead and dump all this water into our fire bucket. And the rags will be saturated down in the water. You can also put a little Dawn dishwashing soap in there as well. That's preferable, not absolutely necessary. That helps disperse some of the oils and it keeps those solvent rags in particular. The ones that have the linseed oil based products, those semi transparent stains, oil base, from catching fire and even burning someone's home down. Back here, you'll see these rags stuck in our fence line. We're at the back of our shop. You may ask, what do you do when we're done with the rags and done with the job? We walk back behind our shop. We keep our dumpster right over here to my right, about 15 feet. And we empty all the rags out and we just hang them up just like this. You'll notice some of these are cleaner. Other ones you can see where we've actually used the semi-transparent stain. Now, if we were to throw some of those rags right into the dumpster or inside like a trash can or seal them up in trash bags, they could have easily caused a fire. So we hang them up here until they're completely dried out. And then the ones that are really bad, once they're dry, we'll just throw away in the dumpster. And the ones that seem like they can be reused and they're dry, we'll go ahead and put back in our storage for reuse. And then we start the whole process over again. Again, I'm Jason with Matthews Painting Company. For more information, you can contact us at 574-834-3575 or contact us on our website at matthewspainting.com.